Agora TV. The world is thinking. Um, I'll tell you one spot though, you know, I was in Fiji quite recently and they gave out bottled water. It wasn't it's Surprise, crazy, surprise, crazy. Fiji water. I was talking about rainwater harvesting, as I do, and uh, they were giving out bottled water and then I was talking to them about what happened to the bottles and unbelievably, it's so expensive to take them back to the mainland and there's nowhere to recycle them, they burn the bottles. Yeah. So you're on this so, pristine, beautiful island yeah. and I'm sure some of those other ones you pulled into, you were saying there was no recycling. New Caledonia, New Caledonia. No, re no recycling at all, which is crazy. The crazy French, you know, So they need island. to be building bloody bottle bloody boats French, if they're gonna burn any French them. in the room. <laughs> and the funny thing it's is I read French that if you were just um, having to calculate your carbon footprint, then it's more carbon efficient to recycle those bottles than to burn them. Yeah, I mean, right. I think, I hope, well, with the material, what I'm hoping is, you know, again, you know, one of the things is the value exchange. And I think, yeah. obviously, as we said here with the Cash for Containers campaign, is, you know, it's about um, value exchange and actually revaluing the material. So there is not to just a, a, you know, a waste, a, you know, something that is going to end up in landfill. And, you know, I mean, I, I've used this a lot and it's, it's not the perfect analogy, but it's like diamonds, you know, diamonds are one of those things that are actually commonly found, controlled by a few companies, and they last forever. Um, you know, and so they told us a story that these are for eternity and that they are, you know, one of these things that, you know, uh, we should, you know, every female wants a diamond ring. Um, I'm sure you all do. Um, and, but, you know, and it's meant to be seen as this, as I said, symbol of, uh, of foreverness. Um, plastic lasts forever and is uh, yeah. one of those things. <laughs> I'm doing all you guys rings. a favor. All of them are like, <laughs> shut up. Um, no, but plastic lasts forever. It's controlled by a few companies, but yet the story that they've told us about it is that it's value less. That's the point I'm trying yeah. to put out there. So we have to retell not only the story about plastics, but we have to retell a lot of stories. I mean, we designed this planet when we thought we had cheap fuels and infinite resources. We designed this planet when we thought there was a place called Away. I mean, these are all things that you can find in, you know, in, in, in books like this and people like Janine Benyus and you know, other heroes of the environment who've been talking about this. And you know, I think now with you know, institutes like this where there is you know, young minds coming at it from all angles. And middle-aged minds, you know, quite uh, I'm yeah. just saying. Young minds, young minds, of course. Um, you know, coming at it from all angles, and that's yeah. the point. You know, is, is, uh, you know, again, nobody's as smart as everybody, and that's something that I think we've tried to push.